Okay, everyone, we are going to do with what we are going to do. And this is going to be our day two. And I do not have the support document, but that's fine. We'll be, we'll be going together. So good evening, good evening, everyone. Uh, for the people who missed the event last night, uh, day one of the zero to three wealth in four months, it was the most important first part in terms of technique. Yesterday, you can get it now into your Think World Differently community group. Let me see if I can show you quickly. Can you guys see the uh, visual? Unfortunately, this is day one, but we are going to use the day one support uh, to uh, uh, emphasize everything. So uh, let's go here and I want to show you here. So if you guys can go to the score group, the Think World Differently, right? Go to the, uh, my chance here, into your group and under classroom, you will see the recording, okay? And this was very powerful. We talked about the three to one risk ratio. We use, we talked about uh, layering funded accounts uh, for you to not use your own money, you know, in terms of the day trading parts and creating some income that you can re-inject into the long-term investing in asset with asset protection tax efficiency, which we are going to look at tomorrow, along doing an LLC or a trust and using credit away from your personal side, okay? Um, I don't know if you guys know, by the way, I do help entrepreneurs to get credit under their businesses. And this is where I show how I uh, raised over $200,000 last year, a couple of months ago, uh, and um, show you the power of using your business credit, not your personal credit, otherwise you're always into the utilization hell when you use your uh, personal credit. And by the way, we are entrepreneurs. You know, if you are really a trader and you take it seriously, it's a business and you should take it very, very seriously. So go on the classroom, guys. We created a new section called From Zero to True Wealth in Four Months. Click here and you will have yesterday's recording with the results and the stuff from yesterday. So sorry, I had a couple of PowerPoints. For some reason, my PowerPoint is acting up on me. Each time I try to open up, it like locked on me tonight. See, I tried to open here and it just would not open. This day two has been locking for me. See, day two. Oh, but well, here we go. So we are lucky, finally. See, at least we get lucky. So let me know about the sound tonight because we had issues earlier on on the stream, which I had to unlist the stream. So nobody will be able to see the stream besides the cuts. So hopefully we don't have this uh, issue tonight. Again, good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming. Yesterday was a great event. Let's recap a little bit what we are talking about for the next few days. Day one yesterday was the big picture, the risk ratio. You know, it was the uh, probability of ruining your account and blowing up and how to avoid that with proper size, proper average win, average loss ratios, average win and average loss. Today, we are going to layer everything on key strategies for day trading, income and long term investing using uh, the three to one ratio. It's always the same three to one ratio minimum. Day three, tomorrow at 1 p.m., guys, before I leave, I have to leave. Uh, we have a family member who has graduation and I'll see my sons this weekend. I will do the last part, which is building wealth with tax efficiency accounts, asset protections, right? And master cycle and business credit, you know, get, staying away from your personal credit, okay? Next week, we are going to go deeper into automation. And then it will lead in about 10 days 
uh, mid-June, we are going to do our 2024 bootcamp, which I have not done for almost a year and a half now. I mean, it's been almost a year and a half that I have not done a bootcamp. So we seriously need a refresh altogether. Okay. Now, this is the key. This is the key of everything, everything, everything that I have been obsessed for the past few years that have been helping me. We can go and, and like I said yesterday, when we talked about funded account and trading futures and trading zero DT options, right? The day trading, you can chop the tree, chop the tree for a little bit of money, right? A little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. But the big money in real assets is cycles. Cycles on Bitcoin, right? Cycles on the SPX, cycle on your tech stocks, cycle in real estate, cycle in printing the money when the feds are with you or against you, right? Election year, right? It's all about cycles. And when you master that, you master pretty much everything. Because at the end of the day, do we want to buy asset here? You know, when everybody was into a four-year anxiety denial, or do we want to buy when everything is going to be depressed, panic, despair, and depression? Which, by the way, from about 2022 to 2023 or 2021 October, for two years, we have been kind of here, you know, desperation, panic, depression, blah, blah, blah. And now we are back here at optimism. So we are starting again. Excitement about the cryptos, excitement about the cycle, excitement of a potential president, new president or not, you know, new. I mean, <laughs> they are not young, the two of them, but this is potentially the cycle. Now, the problem is those cycles are usually two years down and four to five years up. They are seven year cycles. Yeah, they work by seven years cycles, right? Well, if the cycle is correct, that means somewhere in 2028, 2029, Similarly to what we had in 1929, we are going to go through a very, very, very difficult time for the U.S. and the world probably because if we stay with inflation high, right, and we have um, stocks flying, cryptos flying, if you have a house, and you own those assets still staying high, it's because they are printing. It's because they are printing and eventually the Fed will be on our side with the, the rate when it, it, it is to be decided because the Feds are really stuck between stag stagflation here, high inflation, lower growth, right? High inflation, lower growth, and the people who are going to suffer tremendously are the people who have no assets. Why? Because the people who have no assets have seen the value of their US dollar going down 27% in the last two to three years. Can you imagine? In the last two to three years, your buying power has gone to shit, excuse my French, by 27%. That is no bueno. Right? And by the way, sorry, I didn't know. I didn't have the camera. And I'll try to be there with you guys and put a little bit more light in this room. So we can see each other. This is my office. I need to adapt to it. So we have a duty, right? We have a duty to our families, right? To beat this rate of inflation because otherwise our 
net worth is going down. Even if you put the, 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 your money in a high yield saving account at 5%, and the true rate of inflation is somewhere between 12 and 15%, and the rate, so that that's inflation. And then you have Warren Buffett rate of return for the past 40 years, best uh, investor of all time at 20% per year. You can see anywhere you look at it, guys, this is, you 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 are losing money here in your high saving accounts by seven percent to ten percent every year that you give the bank the five percent. So they give you five percent and then they loan it back at twenty five thirty five percent for credit card and loans and stuff like that. So I know it's not fair, and this is why we need to have strategies that are going to fight this. So, with the tools, the indicator, the processes, we are trying to fight at this 15% inflation, right? With the funded account, like I was showing yesterday, right? We are trying to have infinity return. Why infinity return? Well, I didn't put any money there, right? I didn't put any money. All I'm going to do is a 90-10 split here, right? I just pay my data feed with trade of it, and that's it. Because with this particular funded account, guys, that I'm working with, right? Initially, you pay your monthly challenge or combine, whatever they call it, depending on the firm. And so for a couple of weeks, couple of months, until I master trade of it, which I have really been into it for over 18 months now, right? It might take you two months let's say, right? But after that, it's infinite return. So maybe I spent what? I think I had a special 80 bucks a month on the 50,000 uh, $50, account. And I know it, it's expensive, but that's what they were charging me. And maybe I spent a total of $160 in fees. And then you have a, a split, right? So it's very difficult to pass those and get funded, but you have to understand you have no risk, right? And this is what we will do. And at one point with Travis too, we will try to help you during the boot camp and the stuff like that in the next two weeks, three weeks, and give you a lot of wisdom to help you pass, master the platforms, understand the things, understand the tips and tricks to do well in those. Now, you have to be careful because some idea, as I was explaining yesterday, in terms of strategy, we talk about strategy tonight, day two, right? You don't want to be lost in strategy. So you have to find a little bit your groove in your strategy. I can tell you the strategy that works and which one I like the best. But remember, the more decisions, especially after 50 years old, 45 years old, the less effective the decision is going to be in our brainwave and the results were not efficient, right? So, for instance, I'll give you a very simple plan. We had a guy, I don't know if you guys remember, Adrian, and uh, two of my top traders in futures, Adrian and uh, Andre. Poirier, Florida, who owns a company, by the way. So not only is a great futures trader, but he owns a company. Well, they use their own money, but we could do the same strategy with funded account, futures, right? Zero risk. And then Adrien redeploys everything, everything into ETF and real estate. So he's not really trying to pick and choose, he's using the tools, buy on blue, sell on purple, look at this ETF, and that's it. And he keeps on adding the dollar cost average every year, every year, every year, every year, accumulating asset here on real estate, right? Andre, he has a company, so all day is busy. He makes some trades in the morning or when he has less project going on. And he invests also 
a little bit in options on the SPY options, right? And real estate and a lot of tech as well, okay? Another one that is doing very, very successful, uh, I had uh, wanted to show you this. Everybody know Isa. You have heard him many times on our testimony. He's a real guy. He used to be a very prominent heart surgeon. He's now retired. Look what he wrote here, because we, we, we speak all the time. Uh, he's a great guy. He has a great son. They, they, the family are nice people. We, they, 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 we brainstorm all the time. Look what it says. Selling, not buying option is a trade I learned from you. It changed my perspective on trading and helped me. I made 160000 last year. And so far this year, he's up $127,000. Mostly with naked put, using the blue, buy on blue, sell on purple, and, and creating a, a safety of margin and buffer in between the edge of the two calculators. We'll look at it, how he structured them, because I taught him how to structure them, and then look for premium. So that is also, a, like, like, see, I don't have to give you a PowerPoint. I can show you from my own traders that have been with me for many years. See, the problem with our traders is most have been with me since 2010 and they never leave. But you have people that comes in, comes out, they are up in, they are up out, they are up in, and do other, other things. Problem with this is you've got to be engaged. The cycles are not waiting for you. Inflation is not waiting for you. You know, opportunities are not waiting for you, right? For instance, Another guy, Scott Nguyen, you know, in our community. I gave the signal of buying Bitcoin at $25,000 to everybody. It's not just him, but he's the one who took action. He took my funding class on getting funding from the banks on the business side and went to buy 10 Bitcoins, I think. Got $500,000 plus a bunch of NVIDIA. So now he doesn't come in the room, but he's still engaged with uh, uh, the, the, the tools and everything, you know, and everything, because it's made, he, made a, he made a lot, a lot of money. And, and countless stuff like this with the Meta and the Combes on my own accounts that I shared with the groups. So when you look at the division of capital, because it's all coming back to the division of capital. And, and by the way, I'm sorry, I've not sent text alert tonight has been a crazy night with the mic didn't work earlier on so i apologize for that hopefully people will catch up with the recording on the um on the uh pink world family group so before we go to some of the technique here i want to go back here right it, everything starts here so from zero to Four months? Well, I gave you a plan. You are at zero, you start with the funded account. And now slowly but surely you build between five to 20 funded accounts across different funded account platforms. And why is that important, five or 20? Because I showed you yesterday, if you watch yesterday's video, you want to stack them in case you break one of their rules and you have to redo the challenge all over again, they get you out of the, um, they get you out of the, the, the you know, they, they go out of business, whatever it is, you cannot rely on one firm. This thing has to pl be played like credit card stacking, you know, you know, firm one, two or three accounts. Firm two, one or five. Firm three, whatever they can give you that are reputable. But the problem is most firms are not reputable and they are scammed. And we will direct you to the proper channels with the proper people. Now, it's important because 
So I don't want to risk a lot of money. I like the 50K account. If I have 20, 50K account in a day, and all I make in a day across the 20 accounts, let's say I, it's one firm with a copier, which allows me to do one trade and it copy through the 20 accounts. And let's say you make only 50 bucks, right? Times 20 accounts. That's a thousand dollars. It's a thousand dollars that they could potentially be twenty thousand dollars a month. That's your step one of the, your zero to four months. So let's say after a couple of months, two months to six months of practicing the funded accounts, you finally are able to consistently make I don't know me uh, two thousand dollars a month. To there's some guys making eighty thousand dollars a month. Okay. So I'm not going to put that, but let's say realistically to, to 10K, right? Now you can re-inject the money into the swing trading and the income trades with options and most of your money here. So you should be like Adrienne and, and, and uh, Andre. You need to be systematically say, okay, I made 10K this month. 10% goes here, 1K for my options and my swing trading options, 9K for my long-term investing and building my fortress. And you do it every month. Every month is systematic when you take your pair. Of course, you want to leave some buffer in the prop firm and will leave you because if you don't leave a buffer, then they'll close your account and you need a buffer in case you go up and down to give you a safety of margin. So let's look at some strategy besides the futures, okay? That we are still going to use the three to one ratio, okay? Number one, you want to max asset that provides income. And I prefer the asset sometimes than the income. For instance, if I buy a stock straight, sometimes I don't get the income right away. I'll get it later. But I prefer the, the asset. Some people make the mistake, and I suspect that ESA does as a big, big account to make this type of money on selling the deep out of the money put, right? But we should focus on this. Asset income, asset income, asset income. That's not day trading. So, number one, you pass the funded account. If you pass 91 split, we talked about that. Number two, you put less than 10% into two accounts that you are going to break down into. So, you are going to break down, as a matter of fact, this 10K with 88K into swing trading income and 2k only i repeat 2k only for the zero dt spy whether you sell them or you buy the put the cost i don't care everything zero dt that is dangerous you should, i i am really with with time and age really coming to the conclusion that you don't need to more than 2k so matter of fact you've seen over the year i take a 10k i bring it up i take a 29k i bring it up i never go in a stupid foolish way and say oh i'm going to do the zero dte with 50k 100k i never never ever ever never do that why because i know they can multiply very fast but i know i can blow up everything so if you cannot prove yourself with two thousand dollars which by the way is plenty let me show you. Can you guys see my option chain on SPY? So let's look at the options that expire tomorrow. Okay, give me a quick yes, no. And by the way, I got to have you guys tell me about the sound. So, if you look at the option chain here on the SPY, I want to refresh everybody's mind here. If I look at the add the money for tomorrow, well, 
remember, because this is the end of the day, number one, we love SPY if it's directional because the bid and ask spread is only one cent. 47,000 contract traded, 4,000 open interest. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. Right? Compared to some stocks that have no liquidity. Right? But look here. This is 79 cents put. I only trade puts usually. Very rarely I do some calls because now the cycle is up and people buy the pullback. But 79 cents. 10 contract of SPY equal, do you guys remember in the old days? 10, <laughs> I, sque I squeeze some of the people from the old master rate. <laughs> do you guys remember? 10 contract SPY equal about one yes. So essentially, even if I don't pass the combine or the stuff and I keep on filling, I could pass some combine gives you one to two ES on the 50K account, some gives you five, right? It depends, but it's a lot. You can trade 20 contract to 10 contract SPYs, one to one ES. And most of our guys make more money. Most of our guys make more money if you trade three to 10 contract. So essentially, if you think about it, you don't need more than $300 to $800 in that case. And so if you want to prove yourself with the ZODT on directional sites, you don't need more than a thousand to $2,000. That's, that's what I'm trying to bring my point. And you will see it's a lot more fun to do that. Sometimes those double, triple, and sometimes they blow up 50% very fast. This is why you need small accounts on those. Now, another strategy is SPX, right? So on SPX, what I like is selling credit spread or doing iron condos. And that becomes for income, right? And you know that, right? And I like to, them, to do them for the week. Usually I open them on Monday and I use the tool. So I go here, right? I go to the indicators, right? And I look at like SPX and I look at the tools and I'm okay. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Well, obviously, we are coming towards the top of purple and this edge on the left side. So let me see if I can delete this stupid arrow that I gave on the presentation, which, by the way, I call perfectly because it did go down. But look, if you go here and you are going to take the projected price somewhere between the two calculator here, edges, right? I know I have a very high probability for shorts and somewhere on the retracement of rule of third between here and here, not all the way back to blue, I have a, a very nice probability for the long. So if I do the long, I could have a long, thinking of a long, somewhere here in the middle part of the double top which I have already two lines on the channel. And I could proceed, you have your reference point at all time with the indicators. And then somewhere here, somewhere right there. Well, why is that important? It's important because if I am going to start doing ion condors, credit spread or selling any options, I want a safety of margin. So here my safety of margin is 5,600. My put credit spread or my long positions start around 4,800 all the way to the 4,500, 4,800. So if I had a, a buffer a la Warren Buffett, I really want to be somewhere here on my short strike, you know, 4,300, 4,500. 
and here towards this uh, 5600. And then I do a 30 point wide on Mondays and I let them play usually with a two delta and a 98% chance of success. And usually last year we did it with the guys and the year before, we have had no losses. And I don't go on social media and say, oh, no losses, brother. I just do it. We just did it. And I do it in a very specific way. I start doing them in uh, November, the end of November, because the market stabilized from the volatility from May to November. And I stopped doing it towards June. And this is a strategy that has worked very, very well with our tools and everything, selling, uh, but you get income, you get income. And to make this one on one or two contracts, you need three to $6,000 because it's a 30 point wide credit spread, uh, iron condom, right? So if you go back here, imagine this is Monday today, then we have five days. We go to all, all something, and the iron condor will look some somewhere like here, you know, around the 4,500, let's say 4,550, 4,500, right? Let's say there's not a lot of premium right there, all towards the 5,600, right? And there, you don't have a lot of premium. So you got to look at premium, right? You look at, you need to look at those. Usually I make 25 cents on those to 35 cents when I combine the credit spread put and call. But you want to do them when the IV explodes a little bit like the past few days. When the IV goes up towards that 15 from that 11.5, which is an all-time low, a you know, multi-year all-time low for the past few years there, this 11.5. This is where you want to start doing this, this strategy. Very, very, very well, right? But I don't do it more than two contracts. What I like with those is you can make two to 3% return per week. Like literally, sorry, you can make 0.3% to 1% return per week, which means for the year, there could be a minimum of 15% plus all the way to 50%. And, and, and because I don't do it all year, you do it for six months. And it's pretty cool. You have nothing to do. You put them on Monday, you go play golf and set it and forget it. You know, you are you're super, super wide, you know, on your two delta. That's another thing. But if you go back to the presentation, these strategies right there, are not asset. They are not giving you asset. Okay? If you go here, let's remind everybody, we would do the zero DT with a thousand to two thousand dollars. That would be the game plan strategy if you wanted and insisted in doing it. And we would allocate in selling income the type, the type of stuff, credit spread on SPX, I am going on the, on, on, on the SPX with 8,000 to 15,000 dollars. You don't need more, right? And that's it, you don't. So zero capital here, one or 2,000 on the zero DT here, and then you have this one. And then everything else needs to be here. Everything else in the stuff that we are going to talk tomorrow. By the way, quickly, a refresher for people. Uh, SPX is pretty cool when you do a lot of income in SPX because part of your capital gain, uh, 1256 tax rule, so I... Can you guys hear me again? You guys will have to be very, very tight for the rest of the evening with this because it happened uh, earlier on on the feed and it was extremely frustrating. Okay. So let's progress with the conversation before the market goes completely to crap, right? Now, 
as you've seen with ESA, most of your job should be to put all your money here. You could bypass all of this right there and say, you know what, Mark, screw that. I'm going to just be the best future traders I can be using the uh, stacking of all the prop firms that you trust with the maximum accounts, prove myself here, because by the way, if you don't prove yourself here, that's fine. You have not lost anything but time, but no money. And you just focus here. But ideally, if you can make money here, you can feed the machine here. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes or no? So that's very, very, very important. Okay. Um, to do the credit spread, you should not day trade them. You know, you should position them, like I said, Monday to Friday or for the next day because uh, you will bump into the pattern day trading if you are below 25K. Now, to avoid the pattern day trading in the zero DT, it's easy with your $1,000, $2,000 account. You call TD Ameritrade, now it's Schwab and say, or Fidelity or whatever, and you say, hey guys, switch me to a cash account. And they will allow you every day to trade up to your cash available, 2000 and then they'll stop you for the day, which is even better because that gives you a lot of protection. Instead of using the two, selling the two, using the two, selling the two, using the two, it's even better for your protection. And it forces you to do a minimum trades for the day, maybe in the morning versus the end of the day or something like that, okay? So what you could do is just focus on one, the futures, and you feed the machines and the asset the cryptos for the long term, when Bitcoin drops 15, 90% again in the next five years, seven years, boom, you buy it again on the next cycle. You know, you buy the stocks like we bought Combes at 65, 75, buy on blue, sell on purple. I mean, those is this is pretty much when I see an up cycle, what I do. See, I feed the machine, you know. In six months, I had the account going so you can see the account was doing crap because the stock market was doing crap till October. And then in October, I started buying, 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 buying asset across one retirement, two retirements is the retirement. And the thing started flying 27% bidding Warren Buffett by 7% by the end of the year of 2023. And don't forget that when people talk about retiring, they talk about the fire movement, which is planned for 25 years with a 4% withdrawal, which will deplete 100% of your capital. So for retirement purposes, you need 4%. For inflation purposes, you need 12%. And for Warren Buffett, you need 20%. And 20% compounded for 15, 15 years. 15, 10 to 15 years. If you beat 25, 30% return, you're a multimillionaire, guys. So you don't need to get all, all crazy. It's all about staying in that 15, 30% ROI every year if you can uh, with the stuff that are not aggressive. And remember, with the futures and the options, you have infinite return on investment. That $2,000 account, the ODT options, I could, that's me, it is very possible I can bring it to a ten twenty thousand dollar account, guys. I've done it many times. You've seen it again and again on day trading zones many many times. But I always take a small one and bring it big, big, because there is always this potential of blowing two thousand. I don't care of blowing two thousand dollars, even though I don't like losing money, right? So. You want to build during the up cycle, remember, you want to be a master of the cycle. Buy this book, I don't make a dime on Amazon, I don't get an affiliate commission. Mastering the market cycle from Howard Marks, who is the principal of the H fund Oak Tree Capital, okay? Now, you, you, you feed the machine. And so 
without doing a lot of more work, the market goes up, the market goes up, the market goes up. I didn't really do a lot. And there was the 4% from the fire movement in three months. Now, if you look at the trailing 12 months of the accounts on the last update of May 24, even though I have not moved from March to May, maybe even went down a thousand dollars, still up sixty thousand dollars. Sixty thousand dollars, just to give you some context, everybody, is almost the salary of my wife working as a nurse at the hospital every day. Not at the hospital, in a doctor's office. Does that make sense? That's a salary. And you need that boost, aggressive boost, using the indicators and the three to one ratio. You need that. Because we are in a difficult world here. Everything goes up, the prices goes up. If you are not having your money going up, you're screwed every day. Every day you're screwed and and you can see some of the position uh, my entire portfolio, by the way, is right there. You can see if you have a Schwab, you would, you would recognize that. This is all consolidated. When they have the two here, or the two here, it means across two accounts, I have 75 shares of Google, 100 shares of Amazon, 400 shares of uh, uh, AT&T, Coinbase, 55 shares, blah, blah, blah. So you can see all the cost basis, all the profit for the year, right? And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. I have some uh, ETF as well. Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen stocks. That's it. Plus a bunch of ETF and some cash, right? And out of fifteen, one, two, three losers. That's not bad. 12 winners, three losers, what does that mean? It's the same logic as I explained yesterday. What's your win ratio? What's your average win, your average loss? It's it's the same principle. It's, it, it, it will dictate your life expectancy even as a long-term investor. So 12 divided by 15 is an 80% win ratio. So now remember, I want you to notice in the progression of the conversation, in day trading, we talked about the fact that most day trader on futures account has have an average win ratio of 30% to 55%. And even when you are there, it's not too bad. Below 30% is shit. But 30, 55%, depending on the day, are the type of win, uh, uh, average win and loss ratio you are going to experience, everybody. I mean, I know, I know, and you can ask, I don't know if Travis is in. In, in the room, but it will tell you that's about right. In futures, 30 to 55%, that's about where most guys are going to land. And by the way, 55% or more win ratio, like yesterday I had 62%. I was honest to tell you that this is a good day. When I have a 62% plus win ratio, it's a great day, you know, uh, on the future side. But the point is that when you start doing long-term investing or swing trading, what happens? Why the win ratio goes from 55 to 80? Why? With the same indicators, why? Anybody in the room, why? Why when you go from one strategy, which is day trading to long-term investing or swing trading, boom, on the average win ratio, why? Brian, buffer. But what buffer? Be precise. Why 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 is it more forgiving? Yeah, so Ralph is, is right. Number one, you have more time. Number two, what do you have from the brain chemicals? Remember we talked about the brain chemicals yesterday? Right there? From the brain waves. I don't have to make as many decisions which means that essentially when I position trade or swing trade, my brain wave stays high. My decisions are better decisions because I don't go in, I don't go out, I don't go in, I don't go out. 
you just add and recognize the cycle that's the most important recognize the cycle and then dollar cost average if it's an up cycle if it's a down cycle well obviously you want to be short and 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 negative delta but you, you your brain wave your dopamine you know your endorphins they don't have to do as much work here right so it's more forgiving here right same with the tactic from from um, isa that i told you so selling the deep end of the money put i prefer having the asset why i'm going to show you a very simple example and this is going to be a aha moment for everybody in the room i have 10 shares of meta with an incredible cost basis you can see my cost basis of $1,627 cost basis divided by 10 is 162. This thing went to 500 something. If I had invested, let's say 100 shares, right? So let, let's say I would have invested 100 shares at $16,200, which instead of making 3,000, I would have made $33,000 just on one trade on, on, on Meta. And by the way, a lot of my guys did that. They took the trade with me, but they took bigger sizes. So let's say someone did that, okay? If I had sold the one put at the time, which was the 100 puts, I gave that trade on trading view. I literally gave that trade on trading view. So let's go together because like people are going to well, I can take a, talk about a hypothetical. And then you're like, holy shit, he, he gave it. He gave it to the world in October of the law of Meta in 2022. I think it was on trading view. It was my last trading view trade idea. So let's look here. Let's look with power indicator, which I am not really uh, here, people. Power indicator, right there. So you go to the power indicators page. You scroll down and look, my last trade idea was in October 2022 on the 17th. And here was the chart of Meta. Actually, it's a pretty cool thing because that recross what ISA is doing to make $160,000 a year. So last year, I'm 127. So look, so I explained the process. Background, as of today, Meta is rebounding to 134, but with FOMC, blah, blah, blah. Selling deep out of the money, 100 strike, shouldn't put for $8. $8. $8. So look what why I like better the asset at the bottom of the cycle. And I knew that. Here, the broker is going to block me $10,000 because it's 100 shares at $100 and I make $800 profit, which is fine, which is an 8% return on investment. It's fine. I'm fine. And you can see it right there. 8% for nine months for. This was a great structure that I gave and I was absolutely right on the move. Because nine months later, right? We know where it went. Look at the chart. No, it doesn't show me. Let me. But if you are connected to your trading view account, it would show let you show what happened. October 17, 2022, ma. And then if you go here, where did he start buying? I made it very publicly. Public. Can everybody see my entry on, on this thing? November 15, 2022 at 118. Do you guys see that? When I started buying. So I sold the put. The put started working. I could see the thing. Then I said, bought the asset. But look what happened. 
selling the put, selling the put gave me $800 in nine months. And I blocked $10,000. $800. In retrospect, as I knew it, you are always better buying the asset because the asset can go to infinity by you doing nothing. This little 10 share as of today is over $3,000 profit, right? And has been one of my biggest ROI stock. This at the time when I take that snapshot was 317. I don't think it's 317. So on November the 15th, so you're like, holy shit, what did you see on November the 15th? Well, let's look on Meta since I always show you Bitcoin. Oh, that's my little ring that says, Mark, you need to go to bed soon. And I need because tomorrow we have a long day going to Florida. So let's look. What happened here? So we're going to do the replay exactly, exactly where I was for your long-term investing or your selling your deep part of the money put here. November 17. Imagine I bought around here, guys, in between those two candles. Look what happened. 81% chance of success right there on November 14th candle. 81% chance of success to buy right there in between here and here. So again, I'll show you because you look at both calculators, edges, somewhere here I knew very high probability risk ratio. The calculator gave me that I had a return on investment of at least 200%. 200%. So you you talk about structuring three to one here. I'm going to get long. This is the situation the day I look at the chart, guys. This is the replay right now. This is the replay as I'm looking at it right now. Look at this. Same process as yesterday. We go long. So we go long with the three to one risk ratio, right? So you long position. Everything should be in your charts, even when you do futures. And you are like this. So you're readjusting this stop loss right on the edge of the calculator, yellow line on the right side. And look at what the calculator shows me at the time. All the way possible to 350. I had a 24 to one risk ratio. Do you guys see that? I want a yes from everybody. This is beautiful. 24 to 1 risk ratio on this. <laughs> right? And, do, and, and look what happened now. You buy it. You have the stop loss. You have also the tools that tells you the 200%. And look, it just played itself, guys. You know? And I forgot to buy it because, look, I should have bought it. And look. And I bought it at 118 in real with my account. And it kept on going and going and going and going and going and going. And all of this, it's because it popped up right there at buy on blue, sell on purple. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Let's delete all of this. Let's go back here again when it was there, replay. What was the tool doing here at the bottom of the cycle, you know? Let's clean up here and clean up here those. And that's it. Everything was there, 90%. So it was even better, 90%. 81% to 90%. And so when you have that, when you have that, you have with no leverage, no options, no future scrap. I repeat, no leverage because I have to do those stuff in some retirement accounts and the defined benefit plans or whatever. I have some, uh, there's like some uh, rules that I cannot do the options or whatever leverage, right? And it shows there, it's right there. The trade is right in front of you, November 15, 2022. The dude bought it at 118 and I even bought it more 
at 206, and this ring went all the way to 500. Same story here on Coinbase. We started buying at 65 in June 2023. I did all of this at the low. You can see September, 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 October, the low of Coinbase, the higher low on Coinbase. Same principle. What did he say? So you can do both. You can sell income, but you can also go long and you can make decisions for your long-term investing and your swing trading in a more relaxed way. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Look, on purple, it's sold. So, Coinbase the same. Let's go on Coinbase. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Buy on blue, sell on purple. Look as up today. Look at the reaction point. Buy on blue, buy on blue, buy on blue, sell on purple. Right? So, now you can say, what did he see on Coinbase in June? So I bought in September, October, blah, 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 and I bought in June. My best cost base is at 65, so right there. This is exactly where I bought it, right there. I don't know if I can uh, replay bells, I like the bell. Play, right there. June something here, 26, let's say. Look what I have. 61% chance of a long. Buy on blue, sell on purple. And look what I have. If you were with us yesterday, I have the liquidity zone, demand zone here, demand, demand, inverted and shoulder on the edge. Remember the, the drill from yesterday? We define our zones between the two edges and every edge and divisions of third is right there. Which means, so let's go back, same principle. You make the decision to buy, you have an 89% target here. Do I have the three to one risk ratio? Well, we are going to know right away. We take the long position, you know, in June. Where is it? June, 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 June. Right there. So I'm buying right there. And we're moving the stop loss to the edge of the calculator. And look to the top of the calculator here, edge, right there. All right there. Either all or in the middle between the two calculators. Right? I have my risk ratio. And my risk ratio, hold on, it's a little bit below the edge, right there. And this goes to the edge right there. And I get 11 to one risk ratio. If I go here, I still have an 11 risk ratio and, and, and whatever. So this was again, a perfect trade in terms of logic of getting the three to one ratio maximum. And by the way, when I do long-term investment like this, do you want me to give you a gift tonight? Do you want me to give you a gift like this that I think will give you a three to one risk ratio? Do you want? Just for coming tonight, you need a gift? I'll give you a gift. So here's the gift. But this one, you have to be patient. So let's go to Intel. Buy on blue, sell on purple. 84% chance of success. But where's the danger? The signals. You don't have the signal to buy. The institutions are not buying here. Major block is not buying. Everybody is dumping. Intel. Net seller, net seller, net seller. Down arrows everywhere. Okay? That's fine. I don't like to pick up a, a following knife because it could very well go all the way down to here, to 25. But I have to assume that in 2022, there was some demand zone here, 25, 24, 25, just below the edge of the calculator. So I'm going to assume that somewhere between those two edges, 
they are going to have a beautiful opportunity buy for the next three years because my target is 70% return on investment from where we are with an upper target all the way to 54 with the 51. Does that make sense, everybody? And by the way, everybody, if you want to see the recording, I don't know yet if I'm going to put those recordings publicly. I was thinking putting them on their trading zones or power indicator to help. But right now, your best bet is come to our new community, not the Discord crap. We just opened this like a week ago. Come here. I'll give you the link for all that are present tonight. This is becoming our home, everybody. This is really where you want to go. And you are going to love the, the, the way it, it is structured. You have your classroom. You have a lot of free classroom that I'm giving you that were paid classes. Risk management, hours on risk management here. Rule of third, support and resistance, credit spread, iron condor, iron fly, blah, blah, blah. You have also the wealth class, if you scroll down, for free, with asset protection, and the entire sequence of from zero to true wealth informant. And we have here the recordings from last night, which was a great recording. And eventually tomorrow, I'll show you also our other community where I help entrepreneurs to funding for real assets, like real estate, SBA loan, and stuff like that. So it's really an approach that is very holistic, although what I've done all my life is trading. Started in funded account when I was 21, 22, and I'm going to be 53. So <laughs> trading, investing is really what I've done all my life. And tools, indicator, research analysis for institutions and the retail traders. So go hop in. You have nothing to lose but everything to gain. And especially for the calendar of private events, you can see our calendar of events. Click here, for instance, tomorrow, the last event, because I'm going out of town. Uh, after the class is 1 p.m. So click here and you'll see it here, okay? So go here, make sure you make it here. This community will grow and we are very selective for who comes in, comes out. I look, you know, I am not like these guys applying. If I don't know them, I don't know them. If I know them and, and I look in our database and I've been like, like, I want to give you a lot of good stuff, guys, but I don't. A lot of people have copied my stuff over the years, guys. So we are buying here on Intel, this 24, 2875. And this is where we want to be. Because look at now, we are going with the same principle. Do we get the three, the uh, uh, three in one risk ratio minimum? Yeah, I'm going to buy somewhere in the middle. Let's call it uh, 26, maybe. Yeah, 26, 275, let's say. Now I'm going to bring my risk back to the edge of the calculator and look at the target eventually within the next three years. We'll be here at the 54.55. So I have a 10 to one risk ratio on, on Intel. So I don't like to buy when it's falling. So what I would do is start like dollar cost averaging, something like this. Say to yourself, okay, I'm going to invest only $1,500 on Intel, right? And slowly but surely, as it goes down, it goes down, you, you say, okay, I'll buy about 50 shares. So maybe you start with 10 shares. It goes to the 27, 10 shares. And if you get lucky, 25, 23, then maybe you get your base here on the 30 shares. And then you wait. You will have to wait. You will have to be patient because the financials on Intel are not as good as NVIDIA or AMD. But eventually, it will be in play. And if you look on the weekly charts, you are getting an opportunity to buy Intel, really, at almost the high of 2008 here. Do you see that? Give me a quick yes now. I put a line right there. From 1997 on Intel, and plus you have a dividend on Intel, right there. We are approaching a very interesting area around the 25 years. Do you see? With all the calculators work, it's very, very powerful. So that was my gift for tonight. Guys, let me repeat one more time. Let's go back here. And hopefully that was helpful for everybody. 
Number one, we need to master the cycle to understand what is our strategy. Do we day trade? Do we position trade? What do we do? Right now, we're in a cycle where they are throwing money. There's a lot of money on the sideline. We are buying pullbacks very strongly and add to our portfolio. Even though I think it is not impossible, let me show you. Even though I think that it is not impossible that the SPX drop another 5% between now and the election. This is not completely out of the wazoo here in my world. Here. So this is the SPX, right? And look at the divisions of fill. So we have the divisions of fill. It's not impossible we retest this or this. So psychologically, 4,800 and 4,500, so let's call it mid-4,700, you should psychologically be prepared that a 5% to a 7% retracement is possible before the elections and before we go to, to the all-time high at 5,500. But when it happens, there's a lot of money on the sideline and people will buy, buy, buy the pullback of the cycle. Why? Because you don't fight the feds, you don't fight the printing of money, and they are in a really difficult position. In one end, we have stagflation, and on the and they cannot decrease rate, and on the other hand, they have a shitty economy, everything goes to crap, people have debt up to their butt, and everything. So, it's not impossible we retest the channel to 5,100, 5,800, 57. But you are in a cycle where you add and you add here on that down channel before it goes do the double top. And then God protects us in the next three years because go figure what will happen. But you need to be aggressive. You need to have an edge. And those tools, by the way, give you a tremendous edge. And it's not me telling you, oh, they are patented. They are patented. Look. It took us over two years to get to get the US patent, everybody. You know, you can read see the design, you know. It's it's and then we have copyrights and everything, you know. Trademarks, copyrights, all of it, right? Um, so it's very unique. It gives you an edge. But all of this is being engaged in the room, guys. Be engaged, be engaged, be engaged, be engaged. You know, be engaged with what we do. Be engaged with everything, you know. And 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 you will need to be aggressive with, with your investments. This This is the time of this cycle right now, guys. You don't want to miss that because the next cycle down is is, is going to be rough. Right? It's it's. I'm telling you already. I'm a study of cycles, and I think that this up cycle will be much faster than usual. You know, it, it, it's like the crypto. Everything is going to go fast, right? And then we are going to come back here very very quickly again. And of course, the elections, I don't know who's going to win in November. And I don't care. I'm a, I'm a trader. I'm an investor. I mean, of course, I have an opinion. <laughs> uh, but look, at the end of the day, you make your own life. And nobody's going to come and save you. You and you only with your work, your investments, your decision making process, your advantage on your trading, swing trading and long term investing accounts will have to make decisions that are going to help you for the next few years, okay? So next year's we'll, next week, we'll talk about the automation for the funded account and the three to one ratio stuff will continue with automations. Tomorrow, I want to finish day three, which is going to be essentially about uh, asset protections, tax efficiency, which I can do, I use, do I use IRA for this, uh, uh, retirement for that, Define benefit, which ones gives you the most asset protections in case you get sued. Um, what are simple steps you can do for asset protections? We'll talk about uh, business funding tomorrow versus personal funding because think about it. Even your day trading 
all your long-term investing should be in an LLC at one point. If they are not in retirement, everything should be in LLC so that you have the corporate veil protecting you everywhere. And I'll explain tomorrow, which means that then you have access to business funding. And if you are away, you are in business funding, you don't use your personal utilization. And personal utilization, is if you have been on credit help before, and I have been because uh, for my businesses and scaling my businesses, it's 30% of your credit score. You know, it's a very important part with on time, timely payment, your utilization on your personal side. And you cannot get new credit or 0% financing or 0% credit card for 12 months, two years, 21 months at US Bank, you know, if you don't have low utilization on the personal. So I'll show you some trick to be clean on the personal. And if you want to learn more about business funding, I will redirect you right here to our other uh, group. I am not active. Look, what I do mostly is trading and investing. That's what I do. But I have this investing group where I help uh, trade, traders get funding. If you are interested, I give you a link. But it's like everything is free almost there. There's a class. If you want the master class, but that's it. You know, uh, I give a lot of my plays and something I'm passionate about funding because without funding, you miss the entire cycle opportunity. So, for instance, very simple example. Mark uses twenty five thousand dollar account. He buys one Bitcoin, a twenty five k, and I'm happy. I make fifty k. But Scott, which is in my group, and learn all the process, goes to the bank, got a quarter million dollar funding between 0% credit card and business line of credit and loans. He bought 10 Bitcoin. He has $500,000 in this cycle. Now he takes the $500,000, pay the 250, and his net worth is plus 250 because on a timely fashion, he was aggressive during the cycle. And that's how the rich get richer. There's no income tax on this money because the rich live on loans. If you look at Elon Musk and all the very rich people, they pledge, they pledge their stock portfolio and they get 70% loan to value. And I will show you tomorrow with reputable brokers how you do that. And, and then it leads also to other things called infinity banking. And all the stuff that I told guys is stuff that I always do. Like when I talk about business funding, I showed a $50,000 loan with Truist here that I did a couple of months ago. Just, oh, by the way, you'll see, say, oh, Mark in July took a $50,000 business loan, got another credit card for $75,000. I had $75,000 funded. Oh, oh, hmm. July and the law is October. Mm, good timing. Love you all, guys. I hope it was helpful. I'll see you tomorrow for the last event at 1 p.m. We'll do it short, promise you, because I need to run for Florida. So tomorrow, 45 minutes, one hour, but there'll be a lot of good stuff. And next week, we'll talk about automation. Make sure that you make it to the uh, Think Wealth Differently community because this is where this is going to be my life journal for wealth and helping you from now on versus the crappy Discord. Even though I'm going to post an analysis maybe weekly on Discord, that's it. But this is where I am, everything. I love it so much here for you guys to consume and be engaged with us. Okay? I hope it was helpful, everybody. Take care. Robert, uh, Alan, everybody, Mark, Andre, it was all good to see everybody and familiar faces as well. Love you all. Take care. See you manana and la manana. Take care, everybody.